بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته This is Mr. Nabil Adam from Marquia Secondary School. Today I'm going to present a record lesson for grade 11. Grade 11, uh, you are going to study today unit 11, lesson six. It's on workbook. Please open your workbook page number 78, 79. We are going to do some exercises for what we studied in lesson four and five. We studied uh, stative verbs and dynamic verbs, compound nouns, etc. And talking about what? Talking about global warming as a, a serious problem. And uh, today we are going to uh, answer some exercises uh, concerning uh, the uh, topic called the extinction of animals like the panda. And uh, after doing these exercises on workbook page number 78, and 79, we are going to watch a video about uh, stative verbs and dynamic verbs. And then after that, at the end of the lesson, I'm going to give you uh, some quizzes, quizzes for grammar and some games. So please be ready and follow me at the end, uh, till the end of the lesson to enjoy playing uh, games and do quizzes. Uh, let's start with the first exercise here. Uh, this is vocabulary exercise. Complete the sentence below with uh, words formed from the words in capitals. يعني كون أكمل الجمل التالية بكلمات مصصاغة أو مكونة من كلمات اللي موجودة في بشكل capital. عندك now we these uh, these are what these are verbs or uh, adjectives nouns. You are going to change them uh, into into a noun or into an adverb, an adjective, etc. It depends on parts of speech. It depends on its place in the sentence or position in the sentence. We have the, uh, the first sentence here. Uh, A, people are worried about the threat of the environmental, environmental what? Blut. Blut is a verb. We want a noun. What is a noun for blut? Pollution, yes, good. So blut, the noun is pollution. Number two, or letter B, the of the forces of renew uh, is threatening orangutans. Destroy is a verb. What is the noun for destroy? Destruction, yes, the destruction of the forces of renew is threatening orangutans. Some experts believe that warming affects our climate. Globe, globe is a noun. What is the adjective? Global warming, yes, good. D, people have great uh, looking after adult or anatons. Difficult, difficult is, is an adjective. Here we need what? We need a noun. People have great, what is the noun for difficult? Difficulty, we add just the letter Y. E, a charities try to be able to give money to their causes. Persuasion is a noun. What is a verb? A charities try to persuade. F, acid rain may have caused major damage. Environment, environment is a noun. What is the adjective? It's mentioned in a letter or letter A, the first sentence. Yes, environment, environmental. Ice has made the roads danger. Danger is a noun. What is the adjective? Dangerous. Okay, we change uh, danger into dangerous by adding OUS. The government is holding campaigns to save the orangutan from extinct. Extinct is an adjective. What is the noun? We add I-O-N, extinction. Yes, extinction. Okay, this is the first exercise. Second exercise here, fill in the blanks with the correct word from the box. There are more words than you need. Uh, there are more words than you need في أكثر من كلمة uh, أكثر من كلمة تحتاجها أكثر من ما تحتاج. So we've got here A, B, C, 
D, E. Five sins and you have, you have what? You have seven, seven words. Climate, pollution, fumes, habitat, landfill, warming, catastrophe. Catastrophe, Kairitha, Musiba. Now fill in with words from the list to complete uh, the sentence correctly in meaning. A, the natural home of an animal is called its, yes, which one? Habitat, mountain tabi'i. B, the rapid disappearance of rainforest is a major cause of global, global warming. Zaharat al al harari. C. Scientists have predicted that over a million species could become extinct by the middle of the century as it changes. A change threatens their habitats. What uh, threatens uh, their habitats? Yes. Climate change. Climate change. Taghir al manakhi. Recycling diverted 79 million tons of waste away from sites. Landfill sites. Landfill sites, American Amaka Arad Minufayat. One main reason for air pollution is the exhaust produced by cars and other vehicles. Exhaust fumes. Exhaust fumes, Awadim Sayrat. Okay. Now. Let's read this information about what the about stative verbs and dynamic verbs. This is what we studied in lesson four and five. Stative verbs, they usually refer to a state or condition which is not a changing or likely to change. If a stative verbs, the afal dul al hala, if chir al hala or zarf, we ya shay mish bidghayr or ghair muhtamal in bidghayr. They cannot normally be used in the continuous or progressive forms. لا يمكن بشكل طبيعي أو بشكل معتاد استخدامه في الأفعال المستمرة. We don't use them in ing. They can be divided into verbs of perception or cognition, which refer to things in the mind. ممكن تصنف أو تقسم إلى أنواع زي أفعال الإدراك أو البصيرة أو المعرفة. Or verbs of relation which describe the relationship between things. Or أفعال ذات تصلة أو علاقة بالأشياء. Let's divide the stative verbs into different parts. Thinking verbs. في أفعال تعبر عن عن الرأي. Thinking, التفكير. Thinking like know, realize, suppose, reckon, understand, agree, believe, expect. Suspect, think, anticipate, doubt, recognize. All these verbs are uh, thinking verbs or verbs of thoughts. And we have feeling and emotion verbs. Love, like, hate, dislike, fear, dread, prefer, need, want. And we have uh, senses verbs, uh, verbs of sense. See, hear, taste, smell, seem, feel, look, uh, sorry, look, uh, touch. Look in the Mishmanans, look in the Manai, Yabdu. So, look and seem uh, are uh, senses verbs. We don't use all of them in the continuous or progressive uh, tense or forms. Positions, Afal, Dula, and Milkiya, have, own, contain, belong, consist, include. You cannot say, Muhammad is having three brothers, but I say Muhammad has three brothers. Uh, I say Ahmad owns a new car. We don't say Ahmad is owing, owning a new car. So uh, all these verbs are called state verbs. We don't use them in the continuous or progressive forms or tenses. Example, I believe traffic pollution is bad for us. Don't say, I am believing traffic pollution is bad for us. Do you know where she lives? Don't say, are you knowing where she lives? But say, do you know? So these are what? State verbs. Uh, what about dynamic verbs? Dynamic verbs uh, or action verbs. This is another name, action verbs. Usually describe actions we can take, 
or things that happen. يبقى ده أفعال الديناميك هي أفعال حركية بتوصف أحداث أو أفعال نتخذها أو أشياء تحدث. They describe activities or events which can begin and finish. بتوصف أنشطة أو أحداث بتبدأ وتنتهي أو لها بداية ولها نهاية. They can be used in the simple and perfect forms as well as the continuous or progressive forms. ممكن استخدامها في كل الأزمنة أزمنة البسيط أو التام أو المستمر. Dynamic verbs دي معظم الأفعال أغلبية الأفعال اللي احنا نعرفها هي dynamic verbs أفعال حركية Examples like eat, drink, go, type, read, write, listen, speak, watch, say, grow, work, sleep, cook, talk All these are what? Examples for dynamic verbs or action verbs I can say I can't talk right now I am eating dinner I am eating dinner. So, so something which is happening at the time of speaking. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I've been running. So talking about what? About a continuous action in the past. I've been running. I didn't steal the necklace. I was sleeping when someone broke into the shop. So dynamic verbs uh, can be used in different symbol, uh, symbol tenses or uh, different symbol perfect or continuous tenses. Again, this is a grammar assistant book. In your uh, workbook, it gives you some uh, some instructions how to use uh, dynamic and stative verbs and to give you other uh, examples. Dynamic verbs may also be referred to as action verbs because they refer to actions. We can use dynamic verbs in simple and continuous senses. For example, I usually go to school by bus. This morning, I am going to school by bus. Some verbs are never or hardly ever used in continuous form. We call such verbs stative verbs. They express thoughts, beliefs, or feelings. Here is a list of the common verbs which are not often used in the continuous form. Thinking verbs like know, realize, suppose, understand, agree, believe, expect, suspect, think. Feeling verbs like fear, hate, like, love. Many stated verbs are occasionally used in the continuous form in order to emphasize the idea of a change or development. يعني ممكن كثير من الأفعال اللي بتدل على الستيتيف الأفعال الحالة ممكن يستخدمها في ال continuous tense لما نأكد على تغيير فكرة تغيير أو تطوير. I feel we shouldn't do it. I am feeling sick. يبقى هنا uh, تعبر عن استمرارية uh, حدوث الشيء وكمان uh, ممكن استخدام بعض أفعال التفكير أو الرأي اللي هي زي think أو believe أو anticipate uh, اللي continuous sense but it has a different meaning ولكن لا معنى تاني يبقى أنا مثلا أقول لك هنا I think uh, I think it will rain it means I expect it will rain I'm thinking of buying a new car it means I I I consider بفكر في حاجة يبقى I'm thinking هنا مش معناها أعتقد أو آه يظن هنا معناها I have something in my mind I expect it will rain it means I predict expect or anticipate متوقع حدوث شيء I expect it rain but uh, I am expecting a letter from my friend it means I am waiting I am waiting a letter from my friend يبقى أنا ممكن استخدام بعض الأفعال اللي تعبر عن الرأي أو التفكير بس اللي يكون لها معنى مختلف في الكونتينوس تنس. Now exercise number three. Two years ago, a young teenage boy started a toy animal campaign in order to raise money to help endangered animals. بلك منذ عامين شاب بدأ حملة أو بدأ شركة لصناعة ألعاب على شكل حيوانات. عمل مشروع عشان يعمل ايه بحيوانات لعب الاطفال in order to raise money to help endangered animals عن طريق الارباح دي هيجمع فلوس هيجمع فلوس اللي يساعد ايه اللي يساعد الحيوانات المهدده ومعرضه للخطر he went to hollywood film stars هو قابل مين قابل نجوم من نجوم افلام هوليود and asked them to buy his toys وطلب منهم يشتروا الالعاب دي يعني قبل نفترض انه قابل شخصيات مشاهير من ابطال السينما بعد كده 
in your notebook, the doctor Batak writes five questions that he may have used to blindly ask the stars to buy his toy animals. بيقولك اكتب في الدفتر بتاعك خمس أسئلة هو ممكن يسألها بأدب لنجوم السينما إنهم يطلب منهم من يشتروا هذه الألعاب. نفترض أنت دلوقتي معاك لعبة من الألعاب على شكل حيوانات وهو بتحاول تعرض هذه الحيوانات لمين؟ لاتباعها لنجوم السينما وتحاول تقنعهم إن أنت بتبيع الحيوانات دي عشان بتجمع فلوس عشان تعمل إيه؟ مشاريع خيرية لإنقاذ الحيوانات المهددة. Can you can you think of these questions? Think about it, these questions. I'll give you some hints. You can write more of your uh, of your ideas. The first one: Have you got a pet animal? Have you got a pet bird at home? What is your favorite endangered animal, and why? Have you got a plan? to save endangered species from extinction? What are your suggestions to protect them? Would you like to donate some money to save endangered species from extinction? دي أمثلة من الأسئلة اللي ممكن الطالب يسألها لنجوم السينما بخصوص حماية حانات المهددة. Okay? Now, exercise number four. Write the correct uh, verb forms in these sentences. مطلوب منك تصحح الأفعال داخل قوسين دي تضعها في زمن مناسب. Uh, you can use the present symbol, the past symbol, the present continuous, the uh, any tense according to uh, some keywords. حسب uh, بعض المفاتيح أو كلمات الدالة في الزمن في الجملة. Who you go to the match on Saturday with? Who are you going to? So uh, I am going to to express uh, some, uh, something is going to happen in the future. Even I'm going to say present continuous to talk about a future plan. Who are you going? This is a question. Who are you going to the match on Saturday with? What you were last winter? هنا last winter كلمة حدث الزمن بقى البسيط. أسأل سؤال على تكون السؤال مع الفعل where يرتدي. Only what did you wear? What did you wear last winter? عشان في كلمة last winter لازم سألهم did feel past symbol. I can't stand cartoons. I can't stand cartoons. Uh, it means I can't bear. ما أقدرش أتحمل رسوم الكرتون. I don't like cartoons. I think they are silly. هنا think معناها إيه؟ يعتقد رأيه. I think. We don't change. I think they are silly. I don't like them. Diana usually not sit next to Ellen. And I usually uh, uh, refers to the present uh, symbol tense, and we use uh, negative uh, doesn't or don't. Here, Diana is مفرد. يجي بعدها إيه doesn't. بس نحط كلمة usually بين هم بين الاثنين. Diana doesn't usually sit next to Ellen. I not take the bus to school today. Here, today refers to the uh, continuous action or continuous tense, present continuous, am is R-I-N-G. I'm not taking the bus to school today. Yeah, but today, next kilomet now, next kilomet at the moment, look, listen. We use the continuous tense or present continuous. Now, we are going to uh, complete a short article about what? About uh, a giant panda and double panda lamlaqa. But uh, you are going to complete the article by correcting the verbs in brackets. But it's still a fal dakhil qasin. Here I gave you a fal, a stative verb or dynamic verb. Is this a fal harka or a fal that depends on the situation? So you can use any time in the time. Faisal runs a giant panda center in China. He believes that uh, the world must do something now to save the giant panda. He believes. He, she, it, we add S to the verb. In 20 years, it will be too late. He say, he says, he, she, it, we add S. We must save some large areas of bamboo first now. Bamboo, shajar, lil, khayzran. Il ghazi ali bit ghazi ali double banda. I not think we'll be able to do it if we wait more than five years. I 
دونت ثينك يبقى انا ثينك النيجاتيف اي دونت لان اي يو وي زي ناخد دونت ما ناخدش دازنت اي دونت ثينك ويل بي ابل تو دو ات اف وي ويت مور ذان 5 ييرز Currently, Faisal spends much of his time trying to persuade people to give money to support the work of his center. Spends. If I can't currently, not the current day, nowadays, not the every day, usually, present symbol we add s to uh, to the verb after uh, singular pronoun Faisal. He fears that he won't be able to achieve his aim, but he always think. Of new ways of making money to help his uh, his animal, so we add s. He always thinks. He always thinks. After he she add. Okay. Now, next exercise here. Exercise number six. Match the words in bold with the correct definition. Then use these words to form meaningful sentences. There is one more definition than you need. مطلوب منك إيه هنا. الكلمات اللي بالاسود غامق او بالبولد خط الخط العريض بيقول لك مطلوب منك تقرا الجمله وتوصل المع... الكلمه نفسها بالتعريف بتاعها في التمرين الثاني from 1 to 5 you've got here you've got a b c d these are sentences or examples and these are the definitions for the words in bold And then the second part, you are going to do what you are going to use these words uh, in meaningful sense. بعد كده تستخدم هذه الكلمات اللي بالأسود الغامة دي في جمل من عندك أنت في جمل سليمة أو جمل ذات معنى. Okay. The number of orangutans is this, uh, decreasing every year. There are many reasons why orangutans have become endangered. What does endangered mean? Does it mean existing in name only, seriously at risk of extinction, animals fighting over territory, take a person or an animal away illegally by force, the offspring of two plants or animals of different species or varieties? كل الكلمات دي من ضمن الكلمات الفوكابلري الجديدة اللي درسها في يونت 11. يبقى تراجع معاني الكلمات عشان تعرف بقى ايه تعرف او تحفظ معاني الكلمات. Endangered يعني مهددة. أي تعريف بقى يساوي كلمة endangered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number two, seriously at risk of extinction. If endangered, يعني بشكل خطير مهددة معرض للانقراض. Seriously at risk of extinction. Hybrids between the two species commonly occur. Hybrids يعني تهجين تهجين. Which one? One, two, three, four, five. Number five, the offspring of two plants or animals of different species or varieties. People kidnap baby orangutans, but adults are difficult to keep. Kidnap. What does kidnap mean? Kidnap. Yes. Four, take a person or an animal away illegally by force. The African elephant has nominal governmental protection, but illegal hunting is still a serious issue. Nominal يعني فقط مجرد اسم يعني موجود لفظي فقط. Yeah, existing in name only. Okay, so we have matched now. We have matched the words or the new vocabulary with their definitions or with their meanings. The second part, use these uh, four bold words in sense in uh, sense of your own in meaningful sentence so these are the matching okay do it at home match and then uh, use these words in sense of your own now next exercise here number seven join the two sentences using the connectors in brackets and في كل سؤال a b c d e f في عندك جملتين بيقول لك اربط الجملتين دول باستخدام اداه الربط الموجوده داخل قوسين عندك هنا اف اربط الجملتين باستخدام اف انتل اربط الجملتين باستخدام انتل باي ذا تايم وي كلمه وير از وكلمه يت هنا يت ممكن استخدامها يت لا معنيين يت معناها ليس حد ليس بعدها او ليس حتى الان تستخدم في نفي الجمله المضارع التام اللي هي اي هافنت او هي هازنت دان هيز هوم ورك يت تيجي دايما تيجي في نهايه السؤال او نهايه الجمله المنفيه بس كمان كلمه يت ممكن تساوي كلمة بات يعني ولكن يبقى يت ممكن تستخدم كأداة ربط. سنس سنس معناها منذ 
وهنا عندك وي ار بروك يعني مفلسين دونت هاف دونت هاف ماني بروك يعني مفلس اوكي ناو جوين ذي سينس يوزنج ذا كونكتورز ان براكتس يو كان هير وات اي ام سينج يو كيب كويت يس جوين يو كان هير وات اي ام سينج اف يو كيب كويت لو عكستها صح اف يو كيب كويت You can hear what I am saying. Okay, I want to invite my classmates to a party. I know them well. I want to invite my classmates to a party until I know them well. Okay, هنا عادة كلمة until معناها حتى ممكن استخدامها في زمن مستقبل ومضارع أو ممكن استخدامها في الماضي التام المنفي والماضي البسيط. Uh, هنا دايما كلمة until لازم يكون الجملة الأولى تكون قبلها نفي negative. I want to invite my classmates to a party until I know them well. He arrived home. I had already cleaned the house by the time. هنا تعبر عن إيه؟ uh, حدث أول حدث ثاني. Uh, two actions happened in the past. One happened before the other. The first action should be past perfect. So we say By the time he arrived home, يعني قبل ما يصل البيت, I had already cleaned the house. ممكن تعكسها؟ أيوة. I had already cleaned the house by the time he arrived home. كلمة by the time لا, نفس كلمة before. لازم يجي بعدها بس symbol. والفعل الثاني يكون past perfect. يعني ممكن تقول by the time he arrived home, I had already cleaned the house. اعكسها صح. I had already cleaned the house by the time he arrived home. ممكن أشيل كلمة by the time حطه before. Before he arrived home, I had already cleaned the house. D. The first quiz was easy. This one is extremely difficult. كلمة whereas يعني في حين بينما سهلة جدا. حط كلمة whereas في النص. The first quiz was easy, whereas this one is extremely difficult. ممكن أكسا. This one uh, is extremely difficult. Uh, 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 so you can say. Whereas the first quiz was easy, this one is extremely difficult. ممكن تحط whereas في أول الجملتين. She's snobbish. People like her. هنا snobbish صفة قبيحة وهنا كلمة yet يعني ولكن ومع ذلك. So she's snobbish yet people like her. We are broke. We can't buy anything. هنا since since مش معناها منذ هنا سنس معناها بيكوز. We can't buy anything since we are broke. Since we are broke, we can't buy anything. يبقى سنس هنا معناها ايه؟ بيكوز. نفس كلمة as. لأن. Okay. Now, uh, I love you to watch, to watch what? Watch this video about street verbs and uh, action verbs. Okay. Watch this video, please.
Okay, now uh, it's time to do some quizzes uh, and some play some games. Be ready. Here we are going to uh, to do the first grammar uh, grammar exercise or quiz. I'm going to click on this link. So we'll open a website to answer uh, some uh, grammar question concerning what you studied in uh, unit 11 or uh, on other uh, previous uh, units. Okay, let's see who can do this exercise with me. Here, you can see the screen. The boss orders the employees the work any longer. Ordered here, this is what uh, a reported uh, verb. So this is a reported question. Negative, we use not to delay. Yes, correct. Number two, he, uh, his kids are so spoiled. He should, strict with them. Should, talking about model, uh, model uh, verb. And uh, he is talking about what? Uh, should have, this model perfect. Should have been, should have been. Okay, correct. And three, the man who, two, I lent my car is a close friend of mine. This is what, this uh, relative pronoun, relative pronoun. The man uh, is, uh, uh, refers to people. It's, uh, it's what refers to people. So is it an object or a subject? I lent my car to the man. So this is an object. Whom? Okay, good. Now. What about the war? I think it's harmful to humanity. So I'm asking about your opinion. What, what do you think? So this is a stative verb. Uh, number five, uh, the government is planting trees all over Kuwait. Turn into passive. Here, the government is the subject and trees is the object. Begin with trees. Is planting present continuous M is R I N G. So we add being here. Trees are being planted all, all over Kuwait. Yes, this one are being. We don't say where because this is uh, uh, present continuous, not past continuous. So the right answer are being planted. You should listen well when your teachers uh, are talking. A report. I begin with his father advised him. His father advised him this what? This uh, reports speech. And uh, we begin with two. His father advised him to. His father advised him to. To listen well. To listen well. What about the pronouns to listen well? When his, uh, your teachers, his teachers, uh, your teachers, we have to change the possessive adjective here, his and here are talking this uh, present continuous we change it into past continuous so we've we've got two answers which one his father advised him to listen well when his teachers when uh, his, his father advised him he should no we don't use this one this imperative uh, report speech we use it because we join with two or not two so his father advised him to listen well when his teachers were talking yes correct I expect the weather to be nice today. Expect here, uh, this is an, a stative verb, a stative verb. I expect, ask a question. What, 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 what are, what did, what is, what do, what do, because expect is present symbol. What do you expect the weather be like today? Yes, nice. So we finish the first exercise, okay? Let's move to the next one. You've got seven questions. Uh, he said that he preferred educational programs. He preferred watch, watching, watches, well watch. After prefer, we use the G and ing, verb plus ng, watching. Correct. Number two, uh, I've got a terrible stomach ache. I all that food. So I am talking about what? Uh, uh, a late advice in the past. We use should have or shouldn't have plus past participle. Should or shouldn't have, shouldn't have, eat, ate, eaten. We use eaten. All the doors closed when I arrived there. When we begin with an object, so this is passive. 
Here, here we have when I arrived, this past symbol. So all the doors were, we don't say are or have been or has been, this is perfect. So we use past symbol. All the doors were closed, this is a passive in the past symbol. Correct. My mother said, could you, there is missing you here. Could you open this window, please? Uh, report this speech. Uh, my mother asked me to. Not to this negative. My mother asked me to open the window, please. No, we have to delete, please. My mother asked me to open that window. We change this window into that window. And exercise number five, the government asked people to stay at home because of the pandemic. Passive. You are going to ha have a look at the sentence here. The government is the subject and the people is the object. Begin with people. Ask it by symbol. People were asked, people were asked, have been asked, will be asked, are asked different tenses. The right answer, people were asked to stay at home because of the pandemic, al-waba, corona. Uh, they sent a letter to the municipality uh, complaining about the roads. Municipality, and the municipality or baladiyya. Ask a question. Hena, complaining about the roads, the sabab. Why, 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 when galat? So why? Here, sent bus symbol, we use did. Why did? Why did they send a letter to the municipality? When or why? Why? Correct. Number seven, the teacher said, never come late again. Report speech. Never this negative uh, imperative sentence, we use not to. Uh, the teacher warned the student not to, don't, uh, to not, you will not know. So the right answer, the teacher warned the student not to come late again. Okay, good, correct. Now it's time to play games. Game number one. Okay, let's see. A stative and dynamic verbs. This is a game. It depends on the on the speed of the internet. Yes. Okay. What are we going to do? We have here uh, two groups: stative verbs and dynamic verbs. Look at the time. Be careful. Uh, mean mean is a stative verb. Love stative verb. Show dynamic verb. Read, dynamic verb. Improve, dynamic verb. Like, stative verb. Realize, stative verb. Fly, dynamic verb. Want, stative verb. Uh, call, dynamic verb. Have a shower, dynamic verb. Uh, listen, a dynamic verb. Think about changing the job, dynamic verb. Have, a stative verb. Swim, dynamic verb. I believe, a stative verb. Have dinner, dynamic verb. Enjoy in general, a stative verb. Imagine, yes, which one? Imagine, a stative verb. No, a stative verb. Hate, a stative verb. Understand, a stative verb. Sleep, dynamic verb. Need, a stative verb. Smile, dynamic verb. Feel in general, a stative verb. Think, a stative verb. Taste about food, taste about food, taste about food. Uh, taste about food, it's a dynamic verb. Help, dynamic verb, yes. A play, dynamic verb. Remember, a stative verb. Look, dynamic verb. Enjoy a trip, dynamic verb. Uh, taste wine, taste wine. This is what, mm, taste wine. It's a stative verb. Yes. Here, here, a stative verb. Explain, explain, 
a state verb. We've got here uh, two things to think about. Taste about food, taste wine. Taste about food. It's uh, delicious, I think. Taste wine. Let's check. Okay, let's check. Is it right or wrong? Uh, so we have to change these two. We have to change these two. So here, taste wine is a, is a dynamic verb. Okay, good. Now let's move to the next exercise. Here, uh, game two. Here, you are going to choose the right answer. Oh no, my alarm clock. Ring or is ringing? Is ringing. I getting up so early. I hate the answer to the question. Do you know? I a cake right now, so I can't answer my phone. I am making. My sister to do her English homework at the moment is trying. But she, the text, she doesn't understand the text. He is thirsty, he a drink, he needs a drink. The students in the library at the moment are working. But they are tired and they to go home, they won't. Nine out of nine, thank you. Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, until we meet again next time, goodbye and good luck. Thank you for your attention.